Hi Jewish mom, today is my 50th birthday. Um, so I'm wishing myself a mazel tov. Um, and I wanna give you a big bracha, a, a big blessing on the event of this big birthday. Uh, from, I'm sitting in the Emek Matzleva, which is a beautiful um, area behind Jerusalem's Israel Museum. Um, so, um, but first of all, I want to tell you two, two reflections um, that I've had on this birthday. Um, one thing is that this morning I was thinking about, um, I did an exercise um, to reflect on, uh, to reflect on, I was doing some exercises to reflect on what I've accomplished so far in my life and what I, what I hope to accomplish Bezrat Hashem in the future. Um, and one of my favorite exercises is one that I learned from Rabbi Niven uh, quite a few years ago called the Presume. So how do you do a Presume? Is you imagine yourself at one point in the future um, and you imagine yourself sitting happily and looking back um, and feeling very satisfied and happy with how your life has been up until that point. And then, and then you think, what has happened to make me so happy? Okay, do you understand? Um, so basically, I thought something that I something that I that I like to do, and that I find really eye-opening, is I um, is I think of I think of how it will be um, when it's my last night alive, and I know that I just have a few hours left to live, and I imagine that I feel so happy and so satisfied with the life that I have lived. And then I and then I think, okay, what have I done in this life leading up to my last night alive um, that leaves me with this feeling of great satisfaction and joy? So, um, so I thought. So I th of course I thought about my family and I thought about the ways in which I live as a Jew and about my marriage, um, my connection with my uh, my birth family, with my parents, my mom Alea Shalom, my father, my siblings. Um, and living in Israel, but another big thing that something that gives me a lot of satisfaction is thinking of you, of thinking of thinking of the Jewish moms that I have that I have merited to touch and inspire over the years. I realized today, thinking back, that for the last 22 years, I have sat down every weekday. That means five days a week. Um, sat down and done something something to inspire Jewish moms. Write something, post a quotation, made a video, did something, and I've done that consistently, and I, I, I feel, so in this presume, thinking about the moms that I've merited to touch and merited to inspire over the years, really, when I did this presume, it gave me a deep feeling of meaning. Like, wow, that was a life worth, worth, worth living. That was a good life in which I helped to inspire uh, moms, um, to see the light within them. Um, okay, another thing I want to tell you, it's a story from last night. Last night I went to the, um, I went to the hotel, um, and it was the end of, so my birthday is on Yud Aleph, Yud Aleph, uh, the Tevet, the right after the fast. So there's lots and lots of people at the hotel, um, right after the fast, or at the end and at the very, right after the fast. So a lot of people around, and I was sitting there, um, and um, and there's a large crowd of people, and then there was, uh, and right next to me there was a large um, Haredi family, a bunch of men, a lot of little kids, looked like a like kind of a big uh, extended family, and then there was this little girl, one of one 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 of the father, starts calling out, does anyone know? Um, and then he said a name, which is an unusual name. I'll use the name Goldwasser, even though it wasn't that. An, an, another unusual name. And I thought, he said, does anyone know the Goldwassers? Does anyone know the Goldwassers? Um, and I actually know someone by the name that he called out, which is a very unusual name. Um, and I said, oh, I do. And I jumped up. And uh, before long, there was a whole crowd. Of, it turned out there was a little girl, maybe two or three years old, named Miri. Um, and um, she was lost, um, and uh, and so this so and she, she didn't she had come with her father it turned out and she couldn't find him, and so before long there were several fathers and there's a group of maybe fifteen or twenty little Haredi boys there, I'm trying to help this little Haredi girl 
find her way find her way back to her father but what was what was what was very interesting there is that um is that everyone was kind of i was i was trying to help her i said i said you're i said oh you're a gold vassar i almost said the name i said you're a gold vassar do you know this person or this person do you know english trying to figure out if if she was connected to the gold vassars that i know it wasn't um she was not um but um but 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 somehow i because i was the only woman there um and i was clearly you know somewhat of mothering age um so i was given i was even though i'm i'm not haredi i'm from like a different kind of community and in israel people are sensitive to differences like that um especially mm-hmm. so even though i was different i was kind of all of a sudden like people were looking to me what to do and so the father the the, fa- the father says well um turns to me and says says do you have a candy to give her or do you and asking my opinion and i was talking with her and i was and i was the one i saw that i was that, that everyone was looking to me all the boys and the fathers looking to me to take charge um eventually brochashem one of the boys had the idea to look in her little coat and her num and the father's number was in the coat um and and they and they found him and he came running over and he said thank you very much thank you very much um and we found we found the father but it was just interesting to me that um that in this situation where i was from i was from a you know i'm a little bit from a different community but still i was like the leader i was the mother it's like the mother is here it's okay the mother is here and i was just thinking how you know i've been a mom for the last 23 years and how i have really grown into like one of my major accomplishments one of my main accomplishments i think from over the last 50 years is just for the last 23 years showing up and being a mom and learning about being a mom and dealing with being a mom and dealing with the challenges and the joys and the brachot and all the beauty of being a mom and just like living in this incredible sometimes incredible sometimes incredibly frustrating sometimes incredibly challenging sometimes incredibly inspiring and amazing and wow you know um but i've been in it for 23 years and just seeing like wow like all these people looked at me and they see a mom it's okay a mom is here ima po ima's here it's okay um and that was a striking feeling for me like ah i'm turning 50 and i am a mom i'm a mom and what an accomplishment that is um to have spent my life being a mom and becoming a mom imapo moms here okay so on that note i want to give you jewish moms i owe you guys so much for all of you for reading and for basically for letting for letting me um for reading the things that i write and watching the videos that i make and sending out the inspiring things that i find inspiring and just being there with me um through my own journey and allowing me to fulfill my yud my mission in life by trying uh sometimes successful sex successfully sometimes less so inspire, to inspire you um and so I want to bless you Jewish mom I want to bless you with so much joy and so much nachas from your children and I want to bless you that whatever you're waiting for that Hashem should bring it to you quickly and with great goodness and kindness and gentleness and that Hashem should send you shalom bayit harmony in your marriage um a deep connection with Hashem Hashem should send you health much abundant abundant financial resources um should send you everything everything that your heart desires in a good blessed gentle way um and zel should just send you so all the yeshuot that you need all the salvations that you need all the help that you need you should get it um and that 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 Hashem should help you to shine your own special light in the world um so so sending you much love uh from Jerusalem thanks for listening